Good morning, everybody. So, um, it is a new video, and this one's gonna be really different. As you can see, I'm in a whole new setting. Um, we are on a trip for our anniversary to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, I have been before, but like I don't remember like pretty much anything from it. So this should be a lot of fun. But um, right now we're getting caffeinated. stretching her legs because she has been like a little fussy lately in the car these are huge my mom would die if she saw these these are huge they're huge oh my goodness thinking we can make some like sweet potatoes or whatever because like we are only, well we're mostly cooking. We're gonna go to maybe a restaurant or two, but we're cooking while we're there to save money at our Airbnb. Ah, don't do that. And she's being such a good girl. And they have plenty of tomatoes and stuff, like really good fresh tomatoes. These at Kroger are like a dollar a piece. And these are two for a dollar right now. Like. That is so crazy. Mike's picking up a few of them. You probably think I'm so weird walking around with a camera, but if you see Mike, I can't, if you can see him, he has some fruit. We only had like $10 cash on us, and we got like a lot of like avocados, tomatoes. The small tomatoes were like six. Giant sweet potatoes. Yeah, oh yeah, the sweet potatoes are huge. I had I showed a clip of them and the mangoes. So we got two mangoes, um, a bunch of tomatoes, a bunch of avocados to make like, yeah, I think you have the key, to, to make like um, salads, guac, things like that that we like, so. So I wanted to do like a quick little tour. I'm probably the, ugh, like the lighting on my camera is ridiculous right now because I guess our house is very light so it's a little different trying to come in and do something else. But all of our shoes over here, put like my backpack and stuff in this corner. Belle and Mike's just watching TV here on the couch. And it's the couch is super comfortable. They have like a little table there. A big table here 
which is super cute. I wish I had this in my house. And we've got a fridge full of all the, this part I don't have much. Some of this came in, as you guys probably already seen in here. And then we added our own food full of fridge. <laughs> fridge full of food. Um, then it has this like, stove whatever we just brought our own seasonings and then i really like this cute little nook area where the kitchen is that's all of our food over there and i put bella's stuff down there um yeah and then her bed is over here with her toys and everything in that bag is hers and then this is like a fireplace obviously too hot for that so i just put some of my bags on here, well, all of this is my stuff on top. Um, and then I overpacked, maybe just a little, so this is all of me and Mike's clothes. Cause she didn't have like a dresser, so that's probably my only like main critique. There's nowhere to put your clothes, so we just put them on here. So we have it like just, even though it doesn't look folded, it's folded over here. Then um, this is the bed, I love this. This is like what really made me wanna get this this and like this whole cute little area but um this is the bed has like little plants and stuff and it's super comfortable the review said the bed was super comfortable and they weren't lying um and then she has this little hanging thing i'm gonna put all my bathroom stuff in here i hung the towels on here she had them um, folded all the towels and stuff on here but i moved it here for now and then um this is the little nook thing and yeah I didn't really do anything in here, but that is pretty much it. We just got to this place called Sunset Rock and we're going to see what it entails. But um, I think it's this way. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Oh my gosh, this is kind of freaky-ish. But. Oh, Bella. Definitely have to go at your own risk. And watch your step. <laughs> She's got four. She's got two legs more than us. So we are hiking. I have to look down the whole time. Not, I don't see this is necessarily hiking, but we are heading places. <laughs> um, as I was saying, it was actually a pretty crazy. Um, it was a pretty crazy drive here. Like I'm not gonna lie, I am having low key. I'm really nervous about us having to drive back because I ain't seen no street lights and anybody who knows me if the street don't got a street light on it I freak out just a little bit ooh, ooh, ooh. this is really steep down here babe um yeah so if we don't have a street light I freak out so we're gonna see how it is driving in the mountains with no street light because <laughs> there's a lot of curves and stuff but anyway this is sunset oh you can kind of see some so it looks like we are here. It is absolutely gorgeous so far. Haven't made it all the way down yet. But it actually wasn't that bad. Um, it's pretty steep. And cool thing about this whole thing, it is free. Wow. Uh, you guys got to see this.
mic's trying to motivate me. But anyways, so I'm in the vlog right here. Wow, it's so gorgeous. And I hope you guys enjoyed today. I will see you bright and early tomorrow. <sighs> Good morning, it is day two, and we are at, welcome to Blue Street, it's a one and a half mile loop around the trail and looks then. In case of an emergency, dial 911. Wait a trail. There is no trail. Oh. What? This must have done tore up. Like, I, I'm literally so nervous in here. Mind, there is no trail. The trail must have done broke. We probably should. What? You can't make up your own. I'm done. Mm-mm. This was a fail. Like. <laughs> You laughing? Me and Mike Wood would, would party would totally do. <laughs> Listen, the pictures look like it was normal, but the way my life's set up right now. Oh man, I have to like tell my boy this. Well. Maybe we can, I don't even know. It was a cute idea. There, no wonder there's no cars out here. Well, there goes the adventures of Michael and Siobhan. Not gonna, you yeah, I was about to see us for the last time. Listen, you don't look, What? what is this? What kind of, I mean, and what is that? Like, I'm done. Like, I like, you know, nature. I think it's cute. But, I am about to go risk my life because some animal's hungry. Mm -mm. Michael would. little puppuccino you wanna Bella is that an actual thing yeah it is I forgot hold on let me I'm too zoomed in okay <laughs> you like it is it just whipped cream yeah you like your little puppuccino <laughs> How you doing, man? Good. <laughs> Dang, she's tearing it up. Here, you can sit down and have it. Look. Look, Bella B. It's right here. You want to say something? Huh? So... In the moments where you would probably worry a whole bunch of about a whole bunch of things and you are just you know in a frantic mode and you feel like life is not going your way you have to know that even in those tough moments it, it, it's it's all for the good of you know of everything that's about to come in your life you know I've learned that throughout my years and you can also learn that yourself, that life 
has challenges, but you have to know that those challenges are for your good. Because see what the devil meant for evil, God meant for your good. And so you have to realize that, like, you will prosper. And in those bad moments and in those tough moments, that you are only being set up to win. You're only being set up to succeed. Um, because at the end of the day, God has your back. And yeah. you'll prosper. somebody they were doing like this really cool like thrift haul and they were showing like all the cool stuff they have and there's even this girl I um, follow on Instagram she just gets like some really good deals at the thrift stores hold on you see that says Junction 153 right there yeah you're turning there I think it's coming up yeah right here yeah south um but yeah so she always gets really good deals there so I was like, you know what, like, we don't always go to the thrift store as much, mostly because where we live, like, the thrift stores don't always have the best deals. We'll find stuff every now and then. But, um, anyway, so we are going and trying to go look at a few really good thrift stores that I've seen online. And like I said, we might go to the mall. We're not going to do, like, too much shopping, but we just mostly want to see if we can find any really good deals. And then we are going downtown to see, um, around, like, Sunday time maybe a little bit before and we are going to this you want to go to the ice cream place right this ice cream place that mike seen online so we're going to go there and um and we're going on the bridge um it's really cool downtown like i said i kind of remember it but like i don't remember it too much so we'll see how that works out but yeah um so we've been having a really good time so far. It's just been really relaxing. I know this sounds so silly, but like I prayed that the days would be really long on our trip. Cause it's like most of the time when you go on vacation, you feel like time has gone by like so fast. You're like, oh my gosh, like, but I pray that the days go by super slow. And honestly it has, thank God. Cause like, I can't like, I feel like if it, we were at home right now, it would have already been like five o'clock. And it's only two o'clock right now and we did so much like we went to the park you know we went into the woods got lost then went to the park and we were there for like a few hours you know and then we just came home eat like we just did like a whole bunch of nothing you know and literally now we're here and whatever so anyway so i will see you guys in the next so we are currently in downtown just kind of walking around making our way downtown walking fast <laughs> anyways um so yeah so we're currently downtown we are going to go to this natural shop or whatever that we've seen online and just probably like explore a little bit because we're wanting to get the sunset at um the river walk or whatever so we're trying to get that but yeah we're just going to kind of see what they have down here um, we just went to a few thrift stores and well we went to Plato's Plaza and one thrift store we got some really good cute stuff I didn't get that many things compared to like how I usually used to shop I don't know um, I don't know 
lately I just haven't been like in the shopping vibe or mode. Okay, so we are at, is this college or cottage? Cottage? Some park. College park. College park. Um, there's some people behind us playing soccer. And there's some kids, I don't know if you can see it, but they're over there in that little water area. And there's like three bridges. This is one right here. And there's a bridge up there behind us to um and it is the sun is starting to set we are waiting on our we got decided to get like a snack or whatever at a japanese place um so we're just waiting on that to be finished and then we're probably going to eat on the bridge um but it we went to that little beauty like okay so we're looking and we might look again for tomorrow but we're looking for a place that they actually like you can make your own like perfume and soap essential oil stuff like that so that's what we're actually looking for um but we haven't been able to find well the one that we thought it was it wasn't that and then on top of that we um parked over by like the aquarium so we had to walk up this steep hill and across the bridge so it honestly wasn't too bad of a walk but um we got a good deal on parking so we were like let's just do that and then we come here and then the parking was like 50 cents for like a half an hour like it was yeah, really cheap but, like, but we got to explore like a lot five dollars all day yeah it was five dollars for the entire day and we got here maybe around like four -ish. and i don't even know what time it is now i haven't even had my phone on me for like Ever. that Google thing that tells you how to get places it don't work at all but as you can see I'm sweating just a little bit just a little bit um, Mike is sweating a lot mm. we are like so hot but it's starting to cool down a little bit even though it's hot like it's not like Georgia hot it's more like I don't know it's more like it's not Georgia hot to where you're like well, I'm not drenching, but like, I don't know, somehow Georgia heat is just ridiculous. <laughs> like, here you at least get like some kind of breeze of some sort. But anyway, I'm hoping that we can catch, get back on the bridge before the sun completely sets. Because I want... Oh, okay, so my little devotional reflection. Mike said his earlier today. But like the whole time we've been here, I've been thanking God so much for just the opportunity to like be here and do this. Like I never want to take stuff like this for granted. You know, I know there's a lot of people who just never honestly get the opportunity to, you know, get out and do stuff and travel, you know, and the, also the location that we live it's honestly really good because we can we're close to a lot of stuff like we're dry, we're good driving distance from a lot of really nice places you know so you know i know some people they live somewhere where it'll, they have to fly to get from point a to point b so you know we're just really grateful um and i'm just really grateful for all that god's done in like our life because you know i never want to take anything that he does for granted for us you know like sometimes i just go home and i have my days i'm overwhelmed i'm just like oh the house is a mess whatever but i'm just like so grateful like every time i go home after work or you know whenever i'm just so grateful like to come home to our, our house and just have it decorated like exactly how i like it and you know just to see our little dog and she's so well behaved like that's a blessing in itself um and just even just moments like this like you're just in a park and just looking around and you're just thinking about like life and 
how a lot of people don't always get this opportunity. I'm grateful for my job, even though my job sometimes has its challenges, but you know, I have a job to where before a few years back, like if I took this time off, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get like PTO, you know, and both me and Mike, we're literally not working and we're still gonna have a check in like two weeks or in a week, whatever, you know, and we're literally doing nothing, you know, so that's a blessing in itself. So we're just really grateful for all that God has done in our life. And, you know, I just never want to take this for granted, never want to take him for granted. And I just want to be an encouragement to other people because, you know, the truth is anybody can travel, anybody can get out there and anybody can, you know, just do whatever they want. By the end of the day, it's nothing like when you can look at your life and know that it's by the blessings of God that you're here. And it's by His grace and His mercy and His favor, like um, Danielle was preaching on Sunday. It's like, if it wasn't for the favor of God, you know, if it wasn't for us trying to be a blessing to other people, if it wasn't for us being faithful, like at church or being, you know, honest in our jobs, like there's so many little acts of kindness and just little things that we do you know the reason why these moments happen and the reasons why we're here and we're able to have a good time is because is because um of the goodness of jesus so anyways the sun looks like it's setting i'm hoping that i'm low-key want to go on that bridge before it completely sets but i'm just gonna hold my pa hold my patience but anyways um we'll probably see you guys when we get on the bridge <laughs> we'll see you guys probably when we get on the bridge if we can make it. we missed the sunset which the sun has like mike said set behind the mountain but this is the bridge i think it's like one of the longest pedestrian bridges or something like that Oh man, our food came a little too late, but it's still beautiful. Such a beautiful view. There's like three bridges. That's the one over here. You probably can't see it that well. And then there's the one we're walking on. There's that one over there. I really want to take a picture with this one, but me and Mike have take, took a million pictures. There's like a million people on this bridge and this footage is so dark but it is what it is i am going to end the video right here it's loud but i'm going to end the video right here for today and i will see you guys tomorrow bye 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 <laughs>